Frequently asked questions about topology optimization today, design, non-design. Let's say you have a geometry like this and you want to do a topology optimization, but just for a part of it, not the whole thing. So you want to specify a design area and a non-design area. First of all, you need to have two components because later on you have to have two properties defining the design property and the non-design property. Um, secondly, you need to divide the geometry and I would suggest that you do that beforehand. So how to do this? You have here the geometry, then split. For example, I go here by plane. So I split my geometry with a plane. And here is important that the target is a solid. And I select the solid and the tool. Then you can see already the saw blade here. For example, I want to cut it like this. Now I have two solids and I can move one solid with assembly organize. Put that to solids. Select I'm in the non design component right now. So this should be the upper part and solids. Uh, the lower part is my design solid. So destination to design. OK. And I can see by the color also that it has been divided. So you have a design and a non-design. Now, the next thing, if you want to mesh it later on, for example, with a Tetra mesh, you can go with solids, select the solids and go with a mesh size. But be sure to check here that you have under advanced not current component, but original component. What this does is when I mesh now that the elements get taken into the respected components, meaning you have your elements in the design and your elements in the non-design component, like so. You can also see that by the color of uh, the elements. Further, um, you want to have then a topology optimization card, which just links to the design property. As I told at the beginning, you have two components, right? A design component, non-design component, and you have then two properties. Let me see, properties, a design property and a non-design property. And that's important that you don't have the same property for both, because then in the topology optimization, which you can access about here, in a topology optimization, you have to assign a property or multiple properties. And so, the solver knows, all right, just the design property, which is the yellow one here, shall be taken into account. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and have a good one.